case management overview. My name is Paresh and this is episode 4. A case typically represents a situation or an incident that's reported by a customer and that requires a resolution. Cases are designed to track the process from the initial intake of an incident through the remediation process to the final resolution. Now, from a customer service standpoint, a case can represent several items like questions, requests, and issues. Now, as far as question is concerned, the customer might have a specific question about a product or service. For example, a customer contacts a support agent to ask for information about organization insurance policy, like uh, the deductible or benefit amounts. Requests, the customer might have specific requests, like a request for more information on some of the type of actions. Like for example, a customer contacts an organization to request that someone uh, come out to do a property inspection. On the other hand, the customer might be having a problem that must be fixed, like warranty claims, a billing dispute, or a flaw in a product. So, for example, a customer contacts a support center because of a billing error on their mobile data plan. Now, customer service has several components that work together to provide an end-to-end -end case management solution that not only helps identify cases, but also routes each case to the most appropriate agent who can provide guidance and resolve cases. Now, here are some of the most commonly used components. A case represents a single incident of service. In other words, it represents anything in the context of a customer interaction that requires some type of resolution or an answer. Multiple cases can be associated with a single customer at any time. An activity typically, typically represents an interaction with a customer, like a phone call. Multiple activities can also be associated with a single case. Entitlements specify the amount of support service that a customer is entitled to. Now think of them as a support contract. The knowledge base is a repository of information article that helps customer service representatives resolve cases. A queue is a place to organize and store activities and cases that are waiting to be processed. Service level agreements or SLAs are a way to track and define what should happen when a case is open, like how long it should take to respond to a customer. Record creation and update rules can be applied to different activity types to automatically create Dynamic 365 records. Routing rules are applied to cases to automatically route them to a specific queue or a user. And at the end, a business process flow represents a guided process that has different stages and steps that are used to resolve a specific item like a case. Now, let's have a look at an example that shows how all these components work together to provide an end-to-end -end solution. Now, in this example, the customer is a goal customer. The entitlement record that is associated with this goal customer specifies that the customer is entitled to open 15 cases with the organization. So the customer can open these cases from multiple channels, including phone, a mobile app, social media, or an email. So in this example, the customer has sent an email. After the customer email is received, record creation rules identify who the email came from and the content of the email. The information is used to create a new case in the application. After the case is created, a routing rule automatically routes the case to a gold customer queue. An SLA is used to determine that initial contact with the customer must be made within 15 minutes. A support agent who has access to the gold queue grabs the case from the queue to work on it. This agent is now responsible for resolving the case. A case resolution process flow is used to guide the agent through the process of resolving the case. The agent finds a knowledge article that might provide a resolution to the case, emails that article to the customer and resolves the case. Finally, the customer's entitlement record is updated to reflect the fact that 14 cases now remain on the customer's entitlement.